music just hits us up. We got so much that we can discuss. Come to the booth and turn up with us. Meta News be the source you can all star for studio. I'm your host, Universe Dragon, and I am honored to have with me today the legendary YSNA. How we doing today? I'm doing great, man. For sure, for sure. It's been a, it's been a journey, but you know we here. So hey, most definitely, most definitely, because at the end of the day, that's all we can do is just keep on pushing through. Um, but I am extremely happy to have you on the show today. Um, as and if you don't know already, YSN be tearing up these mics in every studio she goes in. It's 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 nothing <laughs> less than phenomenal. <laughs> like, um, um, and it has one or few things and other things like that. But we'll we'll hop into that in a little bit. But first off, you know what brought you into Horizon Worlds YSN? What got you in here? I actually was going to go buy a new Xbox when I went to a Walmart. And then I'm with my girl's brother at the time. He's like, man, I think you should get a VR. And I was like, all right, I'll try it out. They had one on sale and he was trying to like give me the specifics. And but when I hopped in here, there's no way in my mind imaginable that I thought it'd be as big as it actually was. So when you first got on, what was your impression? Like, what, what was your full intention? Was it just a game? It was just a game for sure. I didn't, uh, I thought maybe I'd download a few apps, try a couple things out. Like, before I actually came into Horizon, all I used to do is, like, play stuff like Beat Saber and just, just to pass the time. But the more and more I hopped on, like, the meta in general, it was like, I used to not even have to recharge my Oculus when I got on. But now it's like, Okay, I gotta stay hooked up to the charger just so I don't die because I'm having such a good time, you know. Well, I mean, very much the same. I'm on that same page. In the beginning, I was dying all the time because I never thought to plug up while I was sitting down, like in here. But but later on, started plugging up. But but yeah, that's that's one of those things where I think that was not the expectation when it comes down to. People coming in here, same with me, Beat Saber, Pop One. These are the things I came in here on uh, on that. So, you know, I'm just happy. Oh, how'd they get on the other side? You know, came the way that it is. So my question to you is, um, you know, so how, how how far in were you? How many, how long were you in this headset before you discovered Horizon World? How you get up there? Ooh, I was in the headset for maybe two, three months before I actually uh, went and downloaded Horizons. And I think it was kind of those like, oh, I saw a video where somebody like through the grapevine was like, oh, this app's way better. So I was like, okay, let me try it out. Then I got in here and I, I want to say my my meta life changed forever after that for sure. Like, definitely. One hundred. Now, um, now I know that you 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 again you turn up the studios on a consistent basis. Was that your first intention when you got in Horizon, or did you just kind of? You know, how did that how did that happen? How did you get into the music side of things here? Uh, yeah. I used to be like really <sighs> nervous to um, Give me one second. So the very first time I ever freestyled or found that I had like a music talent for just that general type of music, I was twelve years old and I was like in intermediate school and during testing we would like just pass by Tom and we'd just be rapping. But I considered it more a hobby then than something I could actually do because I had like tremendous stage fright. But I got in the meta and uh, I want to say it was writer's pen. And uh, we're sitting in a session and it's just a couple of us and we're going, we're going. But at the time, I like do a couple bars here and a couple bars there. I was kind of still kind of nervous to my voice used to shake and all types of nerves when it came to freestyling. But as Tom progressed and went on, like writers kind of started mentoring me in the ins and outs of stage presence and things of that nature. But I didn't think that I would be as successful as I was, for sure. It's like to this day I don't think uh I don't think I've ever lost, you know. And I say that humbly because I know every dog got their day, you know. But uh yeah. No, one hundred percent. I mean and and speaking of not losing, I mean I know you when it comes down to these competitions, um, and a lot of the competitions that, a lot of the competitions that um, YSN has been in, like 
to my knowledge, you've pretty much aced all of them. You know, you're coming out on top. Um, you either in that top three or the top spot, no matter what, everything that you touch um, when it comes down to really, you know, and, and so to hear that now from where you came to where you are and to see what you're able to do and accomplish when you really get on the microphone, um, that is something that is amazing and phenomenal. And that speaks volumes to people who aren't in this space, um, you know, who are still looking for those outlets and looking for places to, you know, they, they want to do music and things like that. You know, and you can hear from somebody who started off, you know, very much in a spot that you could potentially be in, in a spot where you're just wanting to do a little bit more. You want to do more musically, but you're not ready to be in front of people like that. The nice thing about being in an avatar is it allows you to kind of step away from some of the, the things you worry about when you are having, you know, on a stage and in front of people and things like that. Right. It takes a little time to warm up because even in here, you can get stage right 100 percent. But, um, you know, but after getting into it and everything like that, you know, what what. What keeps you in it? What motivates you to continue doing what you're doing right now? It's the impact that I could see me having. Like, uh, unintentionally, I even developed sort of a fan base, if that's what you want to call it. It's like uh, there's people that genuinely, like, they'll see me in the studio and they get on with the specific reason of hearing me spit. They want to hear what I have to say or what's coming next. Because that's, like, the thing with freestyling is, yes, I will, like, recycle a lot of the same, but when that, that something new sparks, I never know what it's going to be. It's just, and lately, me being on the, the walk that I've been on, like, I've been trying to get closer in my spirituality. And so lately, everything I've been spitting, I've been trying to speak positivity into my raps. Because I used to rap about, like, shoot them up, bang, bang, and all that, you know. But lately, it's mainly so my goal is, like, even if I never become a famous artist, a recording artist, I want to reach as many people as I can. And I feel like that's a, a positive goal. And this is a platform that can help you achieve way more than we could achieve where we are. You know, and as somebody who does music myself and as somebody who gets to those microphones, um, every time I see a microphone, I want to touch it. I want to spit there's a beat I want to I want to flow so like I know that feeling of just wanting to get in there and and just you know see what you come up with because we don't know where it's headed because that's the thing about a freestyle it's 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 fluid you know there's no such thing as a you know as a perfect freestyle there's more of a you know it just depends on how unique you make it making your own depending on the beat and, and the atmosphere and other things like that so I mean the creativity can be at all time high in a place like that um, and again, I've heard YSN again, when it comes to creativity, you be pulling stuff out of boxes I didn't even know existed. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. it's, it's, it's really, it's really great the way you, you tear up the microphone. Um, and again, I'm going to always continue to give you your flowers because you deserve those. And you, you always do an amazing job. My question is, what would you tell somebody who's coming into this space right now, trying to get into the field that you're in, to get into the music scene here in Horizon? I would tell them, one, to not overthink it, to not uh, pressure themselves into feeling like they have to have a certain cadence or a certain delivery or a certain way of doing things because of what they have seen work so far. Because before, I was actually, I feel like, yes, there are other freestylers that do excellent. I'm not taking that away from them, but I feel like I have my own lane that I work in. Like, before I actually came and was comfortable in my style I hadn't heard anybody do it anyway that I've done it you know what I'm saying so I really would tell them to be true to themselves and the rest will follow you know just stick to your roots 100 that that's that's amazing advice like I, I again I I try to follow that same that same scenario and I try to give that same advice when it comes down to it people trying to do what other people are doing Typically, that's, you know, that's not always going to work when you do your own thing, stay in your own lane, um, then Thanks. no one can push you off of the road that you've created yourself. You know what I mean? So um, I always tell people, stay in that stay in that road and stay true to what you came in here to do or what you've decided to do. So if you have a goal to reach or achieve, stay to that. You know what I mean? And, and again, your true testament to what can happen if you stick to the thing that you have decided to do and what you really want to keep going forward with. Um, but. With that, what would you say the future of you and Horizon looks like? I feel like now that I'm actually uh, honing deep and really taking music seriously, once I actually start getting my songs out there, I would like to uh, start using this platform as like 
a networking thing. And even deeper than that, I actually am working on starting up a, a kind of boot camp in a way so I can uh, get maybe a handful of artists and we can uh, start like a workshop to help people better their souls in areas they feel like they're weak in when it comes to their style, you know. Just sharpen up those skills. Right. Mm. No, I think that I think that's wonderful and that's amazing. And and I think we need more of that here as well, because um, a lot of people bring a lot of talent here, but there are people who want to learn and they don't have that opportunity where they are or that ability to, to get and connect with people the way they can in here. So to have something like that, that's educational, something that's going that they can learn and actually apply. Um, you know, I think stuff like that is 100 percent amazing. Um, and again, I just want to say you know, continue the journey that you're on and everything like that. And I know that you, you know, we all have to evolve from who we are or from who we were to who we, who we are and who, who we will become. So when it mm -hmm. comes to that, continue that journey, continue evolving. Because again, I've heard what you, you've been bringing and I know it's only going to get better than that. Um, but yeah, when it comes down to that 100%, again, I really appreciate you coming to the show today. Um, you know, talking with us for a little bit, um, you know, uh, give out your um give out any of your socials and everything like that make sure people know where to follow you at for sure on here on ysna same on instagram and uh those are all my socials for now but i do have a single i'm getting ready to drop look out for that on band lab it's gonna be called honey do sweet like do as in like dw you know so yeah that's something oh. i got in the works right now but yeah so I mean, looking we definitely looking forward to the ysn track you don't like it i know so i will be um but again really appreciate you coming through um to all star studios right, right. so that was you know that interview was amazing with ysn but we're not just done yet um i want to go ahead and let ysn the song that she mentioned to you guys earlier she's about to perform right now for you guys so um hang tight we got a little bit more in store for you guys check this out Hey, I say, I say, honey do sweet, I just put my twist on the glaze, contemplating with my mind just to get through the maze, not easily phased, I told him that I want to escape, why is love always found in a hopeless place, but broken space, thinking that I want to erase, cause the L in a love wasn't uppercase, got a complex complex, trying to find my way, same motion that I send, I stay heavily Pray, but what has to pay? Thinking that it's day by day. As the moon starts over, all the problems I face. Backstabbing kind of funny when it's right in your face. They say revenge so sweet with a rotten taste. But I know it's just another word for pain. Cause on the blocks where it was sunny, all my streets are still with rain. Mama wanted me to make it out the hood with my my brain but i see people graduated and they pockets still the same but i know i'm telling that this life ain't fair she a bitch but she still gon' act like she care teary eyed just a bad side effect from the prayer wonder why they took my god wishing that i was there now my hurt and my pain can't distinguish the pair past the point of blaming god i just wish you was here live a loving on the liquor so it feel like you near but you're not so my cup pouring down when i'm tear i say in hell for a while i even blame myself i should have said i love you now i hate my health broke can shell, shattered by the things it held. All the juice in the world couldn't feel this well. This shit deep. Sorry if it make you sleep. Maybe weep. Nothing in this world is free. Obsolete. Even if I fail to leave. Karma worse than life when she came to reap and it get violent. Struggle manifested me a tyrant. Dep all in my bag. I've been thugging with some pirates. Trying to join a mile in my shoes. You could get tired. Goons, they be nuns with the shit all black attire. Hey. Well, honey, do sweet. <laughs> honey, do sweet. Uh huh. That's all I got so far. But yeah, it's a little snippet. All right, that was YSN right here at All Star Studios. Again, you want to turn up in the studio, come through. We here every Tuesday. And again, that was amazing. Um, check out YSN new track coming soon. I'm trying to get See you next week.